Welcome back to our 20 foot by 20 foot shed project. We are still working in our SketchUp for Schools. In our previous episode, we went and created our main roof. And in this episode, we're going to take that same protractor roof pitch and we're going to create a front porch that extends all the way across our shed. What that means is that this 12 foot piece here is going to have to be a porch and then we will need to lower down this closet part down to where it fits underneath that roof. We want to make sure we keep that same 212 pitch. Um, that 212 meaning that over 12 feet it's going to go up 2 feet. So if I took my tape measure and I started here if I went measured out 12 feet so from here to here is 12 foot that means that my roof pitch would be 2 feet from there so that's what that means whenever we're talking about a 212 pitch or 312 pitch or anything like that. So over here, we're going to do a bit of measuring. So I want to take my tape measure, click from the corner of my wall, go to the right, make sure it's your line is green. If you're having problems with it, you can always use your keyboard. Um, if your left arrow key is along the green axis and the right arrow key is the red axis, uh, the up arrow key is your blue axis. So if I, if I hit the right arrow key, it automatically locks it into red, hit the left one, it goes green and blue one is up and down. Our first measurement we want to do is four apostrophe, so for four, four feet. That gets us that guide right there. I want to, the way this, this porch is gonna be done, is gonna be closely mimicking how it would look in real life with the overall design of it. So from this point here, we're gonna go down 3.5. And actually, let's go ahead and instead of 3.5, let's go ahead and do 5.5. And that's going to be a 2x6 going all the way across our shed. Next, let's bring up our protractor. Remember, you can do the exact same thing with the protractor with your arrow keys if you're having a hard time getting it to be red because we want this to be um, going around the red axis. So you can see the red axis going um, there in the middle of our screen. The protractor is going to go around that. So it's not going parallel to it. It's actually going around the red axis. So go there, make sure our line is green because that is going to be our zero point. So click once to create that zero point that we're measuring from. And this time we want to go down because we want this pitch, uh, this roof to go down. We want this to be a two shift and then hit colon 12. So it's two over 12, hit enter. And now we have our roof pitch. Select your T key for the keyboard shortcut for the tape measure. Select that upper guide, go down. Uh, to help you out, you can move your mouse over top of your wall in order to make it go um, parallel to that line. Type in 3.5 because this is going to be a small 2x4. Hit enter. And now we have our overall design of our roof. Down here, I want to do the, the cross bracing first. So I'm going to select right there, go over to the right, type in 3.5, do the same thing going this way. So 3.5, 
we're going to create a 4x4 four four post. Take your rectangle tool, go from one corner to the other. If you ever have a problem where it does not come up as intersections, that means that something is wrong with your guides. That means that they're not flat and that they're up off the ground somewhat. They're not, um, and so there's, there's no intersection there. So um, if you ever have a problem with that, that's why that would be there. Select your push-pull tool. Go ahead and bring this up. And for now, bring it up just to that guide right there. Uh, we'll kind of finish everything up here in a second because um, we are adding a, we're going to add a header going all the way across that porch there. Take your selection tool. Let's go ahead and triple click on that 4x4 post. We're not going to turn it into a group yet. Just take your move tool, move it from this corner here. Hit control to make a copy and move it over to that part. Here, I want to kind of draw in where my header is going to be. So with our line tool, go from this point go all the way up to where it meets our guide. We're going to go all the way over and then back down. So that is where it's going to sit. So here we're going to take this, move it to the halfway mark. We can hover over that blue dot where it says midpoint. I want to take my tape measure, select from the very top, go down, make sure that our guide is blue. We're going to type in 5.5, hit enter. Select your push-pull tool, keyboard shortcut of P. Push this down, hover over that line. So make sure that your push-pull tool is over top of that line and select. I want to make sure that all this is nice and cleaned up, so I'm going to get rid of these lines. So this would be how that 4x4 post is. So now we have our header that's going to be over here. So over here to the right, with my push-pull tool, I'm going to click on that just once. So now I'm still moving it. Move my mouse over top here find that the top so that I'm inferencing that other side and click. So now this point is the same height as this. Do the exact same thing. We're going to find, create a guide for our midpoint, which is an inch and three quarters. Select your line tool, which is L. Draw a line across, select your push pull tool, lower this down, 5.5 hit enter and we can erase our guides at this point we're not kind of doing framing one not so I'm just going to take my push pull tool and pull this part all the way across to that point And for looks, we can come in here and we'll go ahead and erase our lines here. If at any point lines are darker than this right here, that means something is wrong. So it could either be that there is a small little gap, okay, um, a lot smaller than that, but you get the point. So there's uh, something like that. So if I went in here, try to erase that, that would happen. Okay. So if any time that happens, something is wrong with your line, really zoom in and analyze that line to make sure that there's no gaps, there's no lip like that or anything like that. 
um, and that will kind of solve your issue with it. Before we go in here and create anything else, let's go ahead and right click, edit this group, select your line. We want to draw a line going across our wall. So that way we separate our two walls. Select your push pull tool and we're going to lower this down to that point right there. And actually, let's go ahead and lower it down to that point. So we're hovering over top of our header piece. Right click somewhere else, close our group. I'm going to take my rectangle tool, go from this point, upper, upper left, go all the way over to the bottom right. Select your push pull tool, and we're going to pull this out. 1.5 so this is the size of a 2x6 select your spacebar in order to bring up the selection tool and triple click on it right click um, and actually we'll just leave it like that we'll turn all this into one single group so now we have about everything else um, we can erase this guide we don't need that one we do need to mark off where our porch is going to end so go from our 4x4 post hit my left arrow key in order to line up with the green arrow or with the green axis we're going to type in 12 hit enter and so that is where it's going to end so I want to take my line tool and now we're going to play connect the dots All the way here, down. When you're zooming in and out, try to zoom in on top of something. If you hover over like the green, it will zoom in and out really, really fast. So I'm going to kind of go around that header there and go up to that point. Zoom over, select your push pull tool. Make sure that you take a look to see, to make sure that our main face over here, like our roof, isn't going in. So if that ever happens, again, hit control in order to toggle that create a starting face. Um, and that will kind of fix that issue. Bring this all the way over. Hover over that face and click. With that done, let's go ahead and erase all of our guides. I'm going to click three times or more in order to make sure everything's selected. Right click and let's turn that into a group. We have one small little piece that we want to do is close off our wall here. So I'm going to come over to open up my outliner panel. I'm going to click on the little eyeball next to my groove. Come over here and deselect it. Actually, I want to, let's go ahead and turn that back on really quick. Right click, edit my group, take my line tool. And let's go in here and model out the shape of what this needs to be. Turn off, turn that off. Now we're going to select the push pull tool and we're going to pull this all the way over to my other side. Select my eraser tool and we can erase our line. Clean up anything else that you need to. And that is our front porch. Let's go ahead and rename. So 
So porch roof, hit enter. We have our main roof, so right click, rename that. So main roof, hit enter. And there we go. At this point, make sure your outline panel is open. Make sure that um, you get several different shots of this. You need one at least looking at this angle and you have another looking at this particular angle, making sure that I can see um, both that two by six and everything closed up and nice and neat. Make sure you save your progress and stay tuned for our next episode in this 20 foot by 20 foot porch tutorial playlist.